Hey guys, it's Yuval here for Artlist and in today's video I want to show you how to take any video to the next level using assets from the creative pack that we are currently giving away. I am going to show you a clean edit that I made using footage from Artgrid and then together we're going to add elements from our pack and you're gonna see how that is really going to elevate the video, it's gonna add a lot of pop, a lot of interest. First let's watch the clean cut and then we're going to jump straight into Premiere Pro. Okay, so we're in Premiere Pro and I've got the timeline over here um, of the video we just saw. And I'm now going to use um, a bunch of elements from our pack to really get this video to the next level. So let's start. So for the first few shots, which are these ones, I think I'm gonna go for the um, overlays and specifically the shapes. I'm gonna find something that I think uh, could work quite nice. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Let's drag it in on top of our uh, base footage. So you can see if I play this now, we have some of these um, black parts and I don't want them. So all I'm gonna do is go to my effects controls and I'm going to change the blending mode from normal to screen. And that's gonna get rid of all of the uh, black background. And now we have this. So now for this part, I think I'm gonna use um, something like a film mat. So it's basically like the borders um, of the film gate. And we have a bunch of these in the overlays um, category. If we go over to mat, um, you can see we have a bunch of these. And I'm gonna use that one, drag it over again. So now we're getting this. It's pretty cool, it's framing our uh, footage over there, but I do wanna see the footage that is uh, underneath this layer. So I'm going to go uh, into the effects and get the crop effect. And I'm just going to crop all of the sides. So that's pretty cool, but now I wanna add some even more prop. So I think I'm also going to use this frame so for this one, I'm also going to put it on the screen blending mode. And I think I'm also going to add a film baron, which is also in the overlays uh, category. And now for this next scene, I'm gonna use some more shapes, like in this one. And this one is already pre-keyed for us, so we don't even have to change the blending mode. Um, so it's that easy. And now for this shot, I wanna do a parallax effect, which is also a preset um, that we have over here. And I'm going to use the parallax smooth zoom out um, three. I'm just going to drag it um, onto my footage directly. And we get this kind of cool effect. It's uh, pretty subtle um, in this case, but it just adds a little bit of movement and I think it works quite well. Now let's put in a few more film burns, maybe this one. And here I think I wanna add like a shake preset. Um, so I've got it already imported into here. I'm gonna go for shake here shake too and for this one you're probably gonna want to go ahead and create an adjustment layer and put that just over the footage where you want the effect to happen and then i'm just going to drag shake two over there and that looks pretty cool let's play it and then we have these three shots uh, popping up on top of each other so let's see what we can create from that I think I'm gonna go for some shapes again. So let's see what we have. Let's try this one. That's pretty cool. I just want it to go a little bit faster. So I'm gonna right click, speed and duration. And I'm gonna do 120. And let's try to maybe take this shot um, scale it down and then we can have some sort of a background gradient that could be cool 
And let's go for maybe white and blue. Not too bad, I think I wanna scale this up a little bit more. And then maybe have the colors change, let's see. Maybe somewhere around there, we're gonna change the color to orange yellow maybe. Let's see how that goes. And I think we can add a little bit more uh, shapes over there. And maybe these ones could be cool. Then on this shot, I think I wanna add some grain. I think it could be cool. Let's go for grain. I'm gonna take uh, something that's a little bit more strong. Maybe this one. Change the blending mode to something like maybe overlay or soft light. Soft light is going to be more subtle. I think I wanna add some VHS elements. We have five options. Um, I think I'm gonna go for something less extreme, so maybe this one. And let's uh, turn that into screen. And let's lower the opacity just a bit. And now when that footage pops up, I think I wanna go for some glitches maybe. So let's see the options here. This one's pretty cool. Let's drag that in. Change the blending mode screen. And let's add a couple more of these. And let's add parallax again on this one. For this sequence that we have over here, I already cropped the footage because I want to do some sort of like a split um, over there. And we have the overlays with the splits. Yeah. There we go, just have to put it in. And I'll probably have to align the footage using the effect controls, position scale, and also you can add in a crop effect if you need to. And let's just make it a little bit more interesting by adding some VHS textures. Then let's add some shapes. Let's get a little film burn over there. And then maybe some shake uh, over here. So again, just one layer, adjust it to where you want the effect to happen. So that's between these two shots. Reset, shake it, and let's go shake 11. And maybe let's even have um, some more shake in here. Let's go for shake six up. And let's get some VHS over there. So let's just play everything that we've done so far and then we're gonna go into the final step which is um, adding a few text animations. Okay, already way better than the original. It really added a ton of like pop and flash and fun um, to the mix and to this video. Um, but now I wanna add just a few titles to really wrap this all up. Let's open up the pack and you can see we have this dynamic opener video template. Inside of it, you can see there's a Premiere project. So I'm going to open that up. So let's take um, this part, for example. So I'm just going to copy that one and I'm going to go uh, back into my original um, timeline and I'm going to paste it over here. And let's change the text. Um, I'm going to double click. And now I need to double click title four as well. And let's maybe put it over here, for example. All right. And then let's just take uh, another 
cool decks from that one. Let's maybe get that one. And just for the ending here, uh, maybe I'll go for Film Bounds actually. That's how you can use the assets on our creative pack that we're giving away. I really hope you liked this video and it helped you out um, to make better videos for yourselves. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. And also consider subscribing for more of these videos. And for today's giveaway, one of you guys would win a free one year Artlist music subscription and also our creative pack. All you have to do is let us know down in the comments below what video would you like for us to make next. Here are the winners from our last giveaway. Congratulations to you guys, and until the next time, stay creative.